human beings are the greatest resources of all. Human resources are, however, distinguished from other resources by a number of features. Humans like other resources can be developed by providing education, health services, nutrition and training. They can then be more useful to society than illiterate and untrained people. The geographical distribution of population over space or in a region is termed as spatial distribution of population. The phenomena of increase, decrease or stable conditions of population over a given period of time is known as population change. It is studied with the help of changes in total number of people, spatial distribution, density, occupational structure and various other parameters. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Population distribution, pattern of population change, human resources. Human beings are the greatest resources of all. Human resources are however distinguished from other resources by a number of features. Humans, like other resources, can be developed by providing education, health services, nutrition and training. They can then be more useful to society than illiterate and untrained people. Distribution Human resources, like other resources, are not equally distributed over the world. Population The total number of people living in an area at a particular time is known as population. The way people are spread across the Earth's surface is known as pattern of population distribution. It would be observed that more than 90% of the world's population lives on about 10% of land surface. Out of nearly 200 countries of the world, only 10 countries can be regarded as populous. More than 2,400 million people live in two countries, China and India. Life expectancy. It is generally taken as the number of years a person is expected to live after birth. There have been considerable improvements in medical and health facilities, as a result of which life expectancy has risen from 30 to 80 years. But there are considerable variations across the globe. The sub-Saharan African had by far the lowest life expectancy at birth of any region on the globe in 2007. Location A close analysis of the world's population distribution on the map above reveals that more people live in Northern Hemisphere than in Southern Hemisphere. Also, more people live just north of the equator than in the higher latitudes. In these latitudinal zones, there are tropical deserts, high mountains and rainforests which are sparsely populated. Density The distribution of population is best described by density. It is generally calculated by the number of people living in per square kilometer area of land. It is obtained by dividing the total number of people of a country or a state by its total geographical area. Several geographical factors like relief, climate, availability of water, fertility of the soil, influence density. People avoid mountainous areas, deserts, high humid areas like equator and very cold regions like Ladakh or Arctic region. The fertile plains of Ganga, Brahmaputra in India Huang Ho in China and Nile Valley in Egypt are preferred areas for human settlement. Factors affecting distribution of population A number of factors govern the distribution of population. Topography It means surface feature of an area both natural and man-made. Favorable environments attract people in large numbers to settle. River valleys and coastal lowlands have fertile soils and water is available adequately for cultivation. Climate Areas receiving heavy or scanty rainfall do not have dense population. On the other hand, the areas of moderate rainfall such as tropical and mid-latitudes support more people. Equatorial zones with heavy rainfall or Sahara Desert with no rainfall do not attract settlements. The interiors of the continents have low rainfall. Growing Season Areas with adequate growing period are thickly populated. India, United States, Russia, etc. The countries of Northern Europe such as Norway, Sweden, etc. having short growing season do not have dense population. Soil Fertile soil in the plains like those of Northern Plains of India 
Nile Delta Plains or the Mississippi Plains of the United States have attracted large population and are today densely populated. Water Fresh water is needed for drinking, irrigation, cleaning, sanitation and various other purposes. People prefer to live near water sources. Minerals Minerals extraction is a source of employment as well as denotes economic prosperity of the region. Some such examples are Chota Nagpur Plateau in India, Diamond Mining Region of South Africa and the Oil Region of Middle East. Socio-economic factors Economic It means employment opportunities to a large number of people. Industrialization There is a high concentration of population in the industrial regions of the world. Political factors. Advanced countries prohibit immigration. People of other countries to migrate to their land that have considerable potential for supporting a large population. Social and cultural factors. Places of religious significance like that of Vatican City in Rome and Varanasi in India have helped to attract people. Some parts of North America, South America and Australia have low density of population because these regions were recently settled by people who migrated from European countries. Population change The phenomena of increase, decrease or stable conditions of population over a given period of time is known as population change. Around 10,000 BC or 12,000 years ago, the number of human beings on the earth was probably not more than 5 to 10 million. By 1750 AD, there were only 700 to 750 million people. In mid-2002, world population crossed 6.2 billion mark. This means there are 8 times more number of people in the world today than there were in 1750 AD. This is indeed an explosive growth. Growth of population since 1800 until 2050. This increase took place on account of growth rate of population. Growth rate of population is equal to number of births minus number of deaths divided by 1000 people. Trends in growth of population Time to successive billion in world population 1800 to 2050 The sixth billion accrues to world population in record time. After 1800, world's population grew steadily. The major portion of this growth had come from the less developed countries of Asia, Africa and Latin America. This is quite visibly shown by the rising graph curve of these countries. Two countries, namely China and India, both in Asia, put together account for 2.30 billion or about 40% of the world's total people. 13% are living in Africa, 12% in Europe and the rest of the continents. Continent-wise, three-quarters of the world population lives in Asia and Africa as could be seen from the pie chart. According to UN estimates, over the past half century, there has been some drop in fertility, rise in life expectancy and rising levels of economic development which have allowed population to grow. As a result, world's population reached 3 billion in 1970s. It is described as population explosion. 30 years later, the population of the world doubled to 6 billion, 2000. The population of the world in mid-2007 was estimated at around 6,625 million. The main reason for this growth were better availability of food and medicines, reduction in death rate as a result of rise in life expectancy, rising income inequalities, natural growth rate. It is the difference between birth rate and death rate. It is positive when birth rate is more than death rate and negative when the reverse happens. Among the factors responsible for high natural growth rate are better medical facilities, improvements in standard of living, nutrition, etc. Besides the economic factors, social and religious factors may also motivate people to increase their number. Taking above factors into consideration, Population increase in the world is mainly on account of rapid increase in natural growth rate. We have noted above that the natural growth rate of India's population was 1.9 per thousand during the decade 1991 to 2001. This was made possible by the increase of birth rate over death rate. Migration 
In today's world, migration is an important factor for population change. A region's size of population will change on account of migration. Migration is of two types, in-migration and out-migration of people. When people leave a country, it is called emigration, out-migration. When people arrive from other countries, it is called immigration, in-migration. The same applies in the case of migration of people within region of same country. United States of America, Australia and some other countries of the Middle East have gained on account of immigration.